The results of these studies became available only on Friday, the 5th of February, and publicly released on Sunday, the 7th of February, 2021, that it was established that the AstraZeneca vaccine does not prevent mild to moderate disease of the 501YB2 variant. The government's processes of procuring vaccine preceded the discovery of the 501YB2 uh, variant and other variants that have since emanated uh, from different parts of the world. We wait for the experts to give us advice and uh, there will not be any money wasted on that, I can assure you. The vaccines actually have not expired. I think it's important to just underline that because when the issue of expiry is being raised, some people think it's already expired and in fact it must have been administered to people when it's expired and that's not the case. On the other hand, our scientists will continue with further deliberations on the AstraZeneca vaccine use in South Africa. And depending on their advice, the vaccine will be swapped before the expiry date. The Department of Health will continue its planned phase, uh, uh, phase one vaccination, targeting the health workers using the Johnson and Johnson vaccine instead of the AstraZeneca vaccine. The Johnson and Johnson vaccine has been proven effective against the 501 YV2 variant and the necessary approval processes for use in South Africa are underway. In addition, the country has also secured the doses from uh, Pfizer for phase one rollout, so they'll be brought forward earlier than originally planned. Uh, that's been through our negotiation. The new projections, we're going to be revising them. We were just waiting for uh, the uh, complete schedule of the uh, distribution of the vaccine so that we can see when those vaccines are available because once you remove uh, AstraZeneca uh, it basically removes one uh, vaccine that was really going to be largely and massively um, uh, distributed so it means we have to re-look re at that.